What up guys, it's Dog again. Uh, nerdy Dog, I guess. I have my glasses on because I can't see without them. I'm about to go to sleep pretty soon. I'm just gonna take a shower. I had everything going uh, early on, like study-wise, stuff like that. I had this whole ordeal all day long about um, trying to get my computer class, my work done, and I didn't get the majority of it done. I didn't get what I wanted to get done today. And the problem is that I'm using a Mac, right? And no college uses Mac, iOS, no college uses it. Like, I don't get it. Why the fuck do people like Mac so much? It's so fucking horrible. It's like, it's like fucking, it's like a retard did it. A retard did it. I mean, that's a retarded to say. A retard probably fucking made iOS, which they probably did. It's just, it's so fucking frustrating, dude. Like, I just want to, like, just fucking take the computer and just fucking smash it. And it's not even mine. It's it's the guys. So, and the guys, like, all about fucking iOS and Mac. Like, yeah, I love fucking my iPad and my iPhone and shit like that because it's stupid user-friendly. But then once you get to fucking a MacBook or a fucking iMac, it's, like, it's, like, not stupid compatible. It's, like, the opposite of that. It's so fucking hard to navigate. You can't find anything on that motherfucker. She even put fucking Parallel, which is, like, the version of, uh, uh, like, Microsoft Windows and Office and stuff like that. And we, I, and we actually bought Office and we bought Windows 8, I think, the newest one, because... That's all they really offered, and uh, I can put it on different devices. So I had this whole fucking ordeal with going through Mac, and then going upstairs and putting it on my old ass PC. This thing is old. This thing's like from 2006 or 2007, and that shit still works better than fucking Mac. It's just so user friendly. It's not the point. The point is like I like to. I'm I'm just tired because I also have like two tests, possibly three tomorrow, possibly four. It just depends how you cut it up. Or break it down but I'm looking at at least two tests tomorrow quizzes probably uh, they're probably not gonna count as much as a real test but whatever it still counts as something and I've been preparing for that because uh, honestly I couldn't do anything because I was here alone and the, the guy always helps me out with her shitty ass fucking MacBook and she wasn't here to do it so trying to do it over the computer like on messenger is really really hard like, I'm sending her screenshots. She's like, oh, just click that shit on the left. It's like, I can't click that shit on the left. It's not even highlighted. And then she's like, oh, well, then why don't you try this? And I'm like, why don't I just fucking go jump off the fucking bridge? Fuck! Fucking hate iOS Mac! But I did have a pretty decent day today. It's just tomorrow I'm going to have to grind it out. It's not a big deal. Like, I already got, I, I already have it working upstairs. Um, so I installed Windows and my and uh, Office and everything. So I'm good for tomorrow. It's just it took me so long to try to figure out how to do it, well, uh, to make it work because I knew what I was doing because I got step by step instructions right from the guy. But the problem was that it that my PC wasn't cooperating. That's that's the main problem. So. It's already midnight. I have to be up early. I don't really care because I took medication that's going to knock me the fuck out pretty soon. But I do I do have to take a shower because I do not want to take a shower in the morning. And that's like one thing I do not want to do because if I don't take a shower now, I ain't going to take a shower in the morning. And then I'm going to go to school all greasy and shit. And I don't like that. Right? I don't like the way that feels. I don't like sleeping like that either. So maybe you do because you're disgusting and gross and disgusting. But I don't. Right. So, the whole point is that I like to rag on everybody about everything, but the truth is that I do actually get a lot of help from the guy. The guy does help me out a lot, which is what I just stated. I just restated it in a different way. Uh, but I do get a lot of help, and she tries, and it's just, uh, I, I'm not very good under stress and shit like that. So, like, I've already gone to too much through too much stuff in the past, especially in the military, especially just like in my personal life and stuff like that. Uh, I get stressed out really easily now. And I, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it's just, I try to work with it. I try to work with 
everything like I just try to make it work and it just doesn't work for me so the whole point is that I just don't I'm not good with stress right so I don't give up easily I pretend like I do but then I don't because I could have let this whole situation I could have just said you know what fuck this I'm gonna drop that fucking computer class fuck that fucking computer class I'll take it some other time but I'm not gonna do that because so far I'm doing pretty well so far I'm doing very well I haven't missed any major tests or uh, exams or assignments or anything like that. So as of right now, I'm doing very well. And the only way to go from here is down or I quit and I start over again. But I don't want to start over again because I committed already to it. And I already told you before, like once I set my mind on something and I really set my mind on something, I'm going to go ahead and do it because that's the type of person I am. When I said I was going in the military, I went for certain reasons. Some were very personal that I will not um, discuss with anybody, especially not you guys. But um, I set my mind on going and like I was a buck 18 at the time, right? And like soaking wet, right? And I did things that people that were like 180 pounds, 200 pounds, all muscle and shit like that, um, were like whining, crying about. And I never did any of that. Like I never complained about anything. I just went out and I did what I had to do. And I always did that because you're either a winner or a loser in life. That's the way I see it. And... I've done some bad things in my life, but who hasn't, right? But my mentality has always been, if I'm going after something, I'm going to go after it. And I'm going to get it. Because that's just that person that I am. Now, if you're the type of person that quits really easily, like, I'm a big baby. But most men are, right? I don't know. If you can ask anybody, most men are big babies. Um, most women will say that. I know the guy will say that. But at the same time, it's like... I try, you know, and, and I stick with what I, with, I stick to what I decide. And that's the whole point. The whole point is I'm going to grind it out tomorrow, but right now I got to go because it's late as shit. I got to wake up early. Peace, guys.